If you've watched a few of these videos already, you'll see me jumping around all over Pro Tools, and as I change memory locations, different things come up on the screen at different times. Now that's because I'm utilizing another function in Pro Tools called Windows Configurations. You've seen memory locations, they're really cool. However, I'm surprised sometimes on how few people really use Windows configurations to their absolute possible usage and peak usage. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. And we've done some tweaking here in Pro Tools 10 to make them even better. So let me open up my configurations and you'll see here's my Windows configuration list and all my Windows configurations, okay? So let's start with, uh, let's bring up the, uh, ooh, which one to choose? Okay, disk cache. Okay, now you'll see that if I bring up disk cache, it automatically brings up system usage window, and that's great. And it remembers everything that I wanted on the screen at that time, and roughly where I wanted things to be on the screen. However, what we've done to make that even better is we've actually added in the ability to actually link memory locations and Windows configurations together. So let's right click that, and you'll see that I've actually got Windows configurations and I've linked it to the quick overview. So now both of those things will work in harmony. Now, I hear you ask through the internet, how is that beneficial to me, Mr. Guy with the funny accent? Let me show you. So as you're working through your session, some people may use the edit window more, some people may use the mix window more, some of you may use different windows. However, if you get used to using Windows configurations and memory locations in sync, it means that you now have limitless amount of windows available to you. So, say for example that you're doing the drums, so you want to work on the drums, you want to work on your VIs, you've linked a Windows configuration and a memory location, so let's bring up that one there. It comes up with all the plugin areas there in view, so you can bring them up. Okay, so once you've done that, okay, that's fine. I don't need that anymore. Now I want to go and I want to work on my vocals. So now it's going to bring up that. We're on a smaller screen here, so it doesn't quite fit where they were on, on my system in Miami. Um, let's go and let's work on recording, processing a bass. So, and it's going to bring up all the plugins that I have in that Windows configuration and that memory location so that I don't have to remember which plugins I used. Now, another useful thing when it comes to Windows configurations is the fact that you can now have more than one Audio Suite plugin open at a time. Now, that means that if you're using Audio Suite, especially in post and a lot of processing work, if you're just comping and doing things in music, Audio Suite plugins come in really handy because it means that you can process those clips, get them all done without having constant plugins on your timeline. So I can add in a Windows configuration to bring up just Audio Suite plugins if I want to. So let's bring up this one here. Suddenly, all the Audio Suite plugins that I needed for this specific session are open. In this case, it's a mess because I just picked them at random. But having that ability to have Audio Suite plugins, multiple versions of them open, in a Windows configuration linked with a memory location is very, very useful. So now, guys, you've got a drum window, you've got a vocal comping window, you've got effects and delay windows, you've got as many windows as you want. So please, when you go into Pro Tools 10, I invite you to have a look at the Windows configurations and start messing with linking your Windows configurations with your memory locations.